so far we were using CNNs. The question is, can you do uh, self-supervised learning using transformers, image transformers? And in particular, can you do something similar to BERT? Let's see if we can do that. What, what is going to be bait representing? It's going to be bidirectional encoder representations from image transformers. This figure is going to help us a lot. This route here should be more clear. You have an image, return it into 16 by 16 batches. And if your original image is 224 by 224, you're going to end up with 14 of these uh, patches, image patches. Each one of them is 16 by 16. You do masking, but it's a masking uh, that is relevant for images. You want it to patch uh, or mask blockwise so that you have a block of uh, image patches that are going to get masked together. Unlike BERT type of masking, which you are randomly selecting 15% of your tokens. Here you are doing blockwise masking. You have your masks. You add the positional encoding. This is going to give you your embedding. So each one of these uh, 16 by 16 patches is going to end up being 768 dimensional. And then you're going to multiply that by a matrix, a linear matrix. These are going to give you your embeddings, you mask them, add the positional encodings, push them through your transformer architecture, and then do prediction. And then you are predicting what is being masked. But here, unlike language, where you had a dictionary and you were actually predicting what was being masked, what word or subword was being masked, among your dictionary, you are predicting the ID of the token. We need to put something discrete here. For images, this is going to end up being continuous. We need to put something discrete here and then do softmax. The question is, how do you actually do it? And we already have the technology in place. You're going to see exactly how you do it. We need vision, vision tokens or visual tokens. We need to look for uh, image tokenizer. And this is going to be a variational autoencoder, the discrete version. We covered this. If you have an image, which is uh, a tensor of this height, this width, and this number of channels, red, green, blue, we want to turn it into something that has a lower height and width. If this is 224 by 224, this is going to end up being 14 by 14. So for each patch, you're going to have an integer. V is going to be an integer whose size is a hyperparameter. So you're turning a continuous signal into a discrete signal, which you can call them tokens. This is already pre-trained. You can click on this link, and then that's going to give you uh, the tokenizer. We used it when we were doing Dolly. If you remember, when we were covering this paper, we actually used this vision tokenizer. And just to remember, it's going to have the encoder decoder type of architecture. This is the encoder. Here you can call it tokenizer and then the decoder. But this is variational autoencoders. It means it's a stochastic neural network, unlike deterministic ones. The other catch is your hidden dimension are actually integers rather than being continuous. So you have a tokenizer, which is going to take as input an image. It's going to output uh, the corresponding tokens, integers. And then you have a decoder, which is going to take as input integers, and it's going to output images. How do you train this? You take an image, push it through your encoder, take that code, push it through your decoder, and then you should match. So the reconstructed image should match the original image. And then at the same time, you are doing some regularization. But now things are a little bit uh, more difficult compared to the cases where Q is a normal distribution. Here you have a softmax distribution on top of your Z. And then you are sampling discrete values from it. And this we covered. When we have discrete or one-hot encoded Zs, we can approximate them with a Gumbel softmax relaxation. And Gumbel softmax distribution is going to sit here. We know the exact formulas for it. Therefore, you can write down the KL divergence here. 
explicitly, and then you can sample from it using the Gumball softmax. And this is basically a reparameterization trick so that you can sample. So that this expectation doesn't depend on Q, it depends on something that is deterministic. And then you can differentiate with respect to the parameters of phi and psi. And we covered this when we were covering Gumball softmax. And this is how you're actually gonna get the tokenized version of your images. These are now discrete labels that you're gonna put on top of the predictions of your model. And then now you can use a softmax here or a cross entropy loss for each of these masked locations. Okay? Very similar to BERT, except for how you're gonna do your masking. And this is gonna be blockwise masking. This is the exact algorithm. I'm gonna leave it as an exercise for you to go through this algorithm and actually see that it is doing exactly what is depicted in this figure. You're gonna take a block of patches and mask them. In terms of performance, you can train from scratch with random initialization. This is vision transformer and date. You can do self-supervised pre-training using unlabeled data. This is what you're doing here. You can do self-supervised pre-training. That one was labeled data. This is unlabeled data. This is what you're doing here. The previous one you had labels. And then from time to time, you can do fine tuning on ImageNet 1K. And that's gonna give you the best result. But this is the major portion of the table where you're comparing to Moco, Vision Transformers, etc. Any questions about bait? Was everything clear? Okay, awesome. So you can use an off-the-shelf tokenizer from Dolly. It's going to give you these vision tokens. And then the rest of it is very similar to what you would do with BERT and languages.